Hello you beautiful people, welcome back to the Hyper Police video. Today we are going to be training Bachira. I think it's time we finally do a video on him. So no matter how he turns out, I'm going to post it. Um, I have actually trained him a couple of times and he's not turned out too well. So I've sort of held off on posting it. But you know what? I'm, I'm convinced today is going to be the day for Bachira. So I think we go in with... For Bachira we do need technical, we do need... Uh, I think a Rio here is nice. We could also go for the 100 Matoma if it's available. 100 Matoma isn't available, and since it's not available, the Rio has to be the pickup, which is fine, because the Rio is going to boost technical. Um, the Raichi is actually boosting technical as well. Not a lot, but quite a bit. Uh, you know, we're getting a technical boost here too, so we've got three lots of technical there. And then we've got shot power from the Rin and shot power... Well, speed, actually, from the Chiggery. The Chiggery is definitely the guy we don't really want in here. We should go for someone like Mitoma um, for the technical boost. But right now, Chiggery is doing all right. Given that, you know, he Mitoma's just not high enough level. So, for that reason, uh, he is out. Now, in terms of cards, we're going Kunisagi. We are going the Rin card. And we are going Anri. Um, again, I don't really have other cards that are strong enough um you could make a case for my monster and the nagi card both being very good technical boosting cards um but yeah i just believe that the access to the black cards here are just too valuable so that being said let's go in hit next and make the best bachira you have ever seen now again guys if you're like if you're doing this yourselves this is not the team i would recommend i would recommend the nagi i would recommend the rio i would recommend anyone that does technical boosting so use Matoma. For, for for normal people, definitely use Matoma. Um, my account's in a pretty unique situation where I have some ridiculous cards and it'd almost be a waste to not use them in this scenario. Right, we do go into an extreme. We do get into an exercise machine as well. Now, exercise machine is not something that I typically take because I don't really need the stats. I'm going to go into a revenue match here. I know, but I think a revenue match here is actually wise because, yeah, like, we want to try and get our performance level up. Hopefully this means that we don't, like, screw ourselves over. Um, we'll see. We will see. Right, I think I'll pass. Okay, we could take the dribbling card. We can also... I am going to take the dribbling card, actually. I just want... I want to get the first bit of levels into that dribbling card. Not because I think the percentage is going to be high or the value is very good. I just want to start leveling that card up because we're going to hopefully be farming technical. This is a big card. I like this card. Oh, I really like this card. Let's go. Big... You know, that was a big black card. Right. Okay, we will revenue match here. Let's revenue match here. Nice, easy revenue match. One big step. All right, we could ultra shuttle run here again just to get that little bit of speed up. We don't need it. We okay. We primarily want to be working on kicking power and technical. I am going to take this because it is special lecture, and that's the only reason why I'm taking it. Because, you know, numbers. If you're doing the training for Bachelor, I highly recommend focusing like hard on technical, and on kicking. For example, this is a great card because it gives technical, it gives you big kicking power. This is a great card-ish because it's going to give me the special lecture and it's going to recover my good. I'm going to I'm gonna break here because I believe I'm going to get an awakening. Don't ask me how I knew that. I just had a feeling. I've done so much training right now that I'm like, you know what? I'm owed an awakening. So, big luck. We take those. We actually take those. Now, I am going to take the 
kicking power card, maybe? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I know we're eating into our awakening a little bit by taking red cards, but again, I have faith. Come on. Another big card, please. While we have awakening, big cards only. That is a big card. It's a good multiplier as well. I may not sound excited. I am very excited. It's just that late in the night. Um, I'm having to record in the evenings now because I need to get to work a little earlier. So where I was previously recording in the mornings, I'm now recording in the evenings, which means you're getting last night's content this morning. Um, it is what it is. So I have to sort of behave with my audio and not be shouting. Right. We could revenue, but I feel like just taking the dribbling card. I mean, that gets our technical up to S. I'm super happy with that. All right, we hit 4-1. That's awesome, because do you know what that means? Now, when you see 4-1, or if you see 5-2, that means 4-2 is coming, which means you hit the break here. Right? That doesn't mean it's immediately coming. But so many times I've seen 4-1, I've hit break, and I've seen 4-2 appear. So it has it in this case. But 4-2 is definitely lined up as one of the next few cards. So we want to try and stay in Awakening so that we... Uh, sorry, Extreme, so we can get the Awakening chance. Hello. That's a very powerful Intel card. But that is a lot of technical, and it's exactly the stuff we need. That is the stuff of Legends. Let's go. Cool, we take that. Even though we're only getting gold cards, we take that. Let's do that. Come on. I'm hoping for a big card here. I take that. Definitely take that. Again, the um, the mental image tra training card is decent because, again, it does go into technical. We are going to take the black card here. Fair enough. That's only pushed us to an A in physical. Not that it matters. All right, come on. You know what time it is? It's time for an awakening. Oh, it's not. It's time for a black card. We take that. We so take that because we really needed the kick power as well. It's now time for an awakening. I can't. I can't tell if this mature is going in the direction I want it to. To be fair, I'm gonna take this. Damn it! Damn it! The, too many black cards. I want to hit a break. The the, the multipliers are low, and I want to take the break. That's such a big multiplier. You almost have to take it. Yeah, we're taking it. 250. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. It was almost 300 like on the one main stat. We take that. It's crazy to not take in that scenario, I think. 31 per no, 31k, not 31%. I was about to say 31%. 31k, not bad. We need 51k to be better than the current one that we have. Which is doable. I think that's hyper doable. I'd love to get a full 60k team. Um, but yeah, this is this is fine. Anything above 51k is really good right now. Right, we are going to take the break. Awakening, let's go! This is a good run. 
This is actually a good run. Let's see. Okay. Big cards only. That is a big card. I mean, I'll check this one out for science, but almost 300 kicking power. Let's go. Big multiplier. Okay, only 500%. I say only because at this point we should be hitting higher than 500s. Come on. Let's make this happen. Uh, I revenue match here because I want to preserve the awakening a little bit. 35k. See, if only we had one of those cards with like special lectures or something, that would have been... Honestly, just honestly, I, I, everything I say is pointless. A black card here would just be fantastic. A black card here pushing us up to that high 40k plus range will just be the run. If we get a big black card here, this is the run. This is the new Bachira. It could still be the new Bachira. 37k, this could still be the new Bachira. I, I just got to keep having faith, right? Black? No, not black card. Red card, I mean. I hope we don't lose the awakening for this. We do. Okay, that was not good. I'm going to take... Oh, do we take the exercise machine? I think we take the break. We risk it. We have to risk it. If we want a big run, we have to risk it. Small risks. It's 5-3. This could be an awakening. <laughs> Let's go. I told you. You've got to risk it. You've got to risk it. 550. Guys, if we're going to hit... If we're going to hit 50k plus, this has to be the run. You can't hit three awakenings and not make that run, right? 42k. We don't have much left. Oh, this is probably going to be like 44. We need we need we need 10k. We need big cards. We just need big cards. There's there's no sugarcoating it. We need big cards. Can we hit a big card? And here I can sit trying to hit a big card right at the end. At performance level 6. Oh, and he gets something. Right. This needs to be, like, big. I don't think 400's enough, but it's good. It's good. It's not enough. That's about 2k stats there, at best. And even then, it's not even 2k stats. That's not good enough. It's got to be this one. And we've got to hit, like, 800%. 450 I don't think is enough I don't think 450 is enough we'll see we'll see this is agonizingly close it's not enough it's agonizingly close we had like three cards in the middle of that run where it was all greys and we had to take extra revenues and it just didn't work out that's frustrating That's actually frustrating. Huge stats at the end. It is 50k? I think it's 50k. 49.9. .9. Oh, that's agonizingly close. Boys, what can I say? Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.